The other day I was driving by the shopping center and about two months ago, there was a banking machine, ATM machine. And at that machine, there was a technician and then there was an arm carrier who were robbed at gunpoint by an organized group of four. Well, an unorganized group of four because they got caught. If, you got, if you're organized, then you're not going to get caught. If you're really organized, then you're really not going to get caught. But they got caught, so maybe unorganized. They got caught. Now, I do have some intelligence from this incident, which I can't disclose because it's not public record. I'm only disclosing information that's available through newspaper or through the um, local television station. Now, they took off with a considerable amount of money. And as a trainer, as a, as a law enforcement, private security trainer, you always want to use things as a training tool, use special events as a training tool. And, and that's what I'm gonna do today. One of the things that I saw when I'm, I'm driving by is I saw that there was a private security vehicle that was blocking the vehicle lanes. And these lanes give you access to the actual machine. It's a drive up, it's a drive up ATM machine. Vehicles blocking access. And then there's a technician that's working on the machine. I don't know exactly what he's doing. I noticed that the security vehicle had the overhead amber lights on, it was flashing on and off. And the armed private security officer was standing in the driveway and he's facing the technician. Okay, so let's, let's criticize or critique this event. Um, as for him blocking the access route to the machine, that's an excellent idea. That's, that's perfect. That's going to prevent some scumbag from just driving, driving through that drive through and crashing into the technician and hurting people or, or even hitting the armed private security officer with this vehicle. You know, you know, what's worse than a bullet is, is a vehicle. You have a, you know, a, a roughly 10,000 um, pound bullet. Okay. That's more, that's more deadlier than a gunshot in some circumstances. So I, I like how he did that. What I didn't like is that he turned on the amber lights and hopefully we can learn from this. So the amber lights are on. What he's really doing is he's signaling for organized criminals that here I am, I'm a private security officer and here's my security vehicle. I'm right here. I'm nowhere else, but I'm, I'm exactly right here. And I work for private security companies where you have to turn on the lights to give people the fake impression that they're secure. I mean, this is just false. People believe that because your lights are on that they're safe. And that's the biggest lie ever because all you have to do is go to the other side of the property and the bad guys know where you're at because you have this big old, um, you know, amber light beacon that's going and that's flashing. You know, you know, you know where they learn the strategy from? These private security companies, Mexico. <laughs> any of you, has any of you been to Mexico? I'm sure, you know, many of you have. But in Mexico, they turn on the red and blue lights and they drive around the downtown area. They, they drive around the stores and the businesses like that. Um, it's supposed to serve as a deterrent, but unfortunately, you know where all the, all the police are at. But this is a horrible technique. What's your opinion on this? I, I really would like to know. Please leave in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good idea or not? Um, maybe it's a public relations tool with the client, but this is just, it's silly to keep your lights on. Anyhow, what also I'm going to have to criticize on this armed private security officer is that he had his back turned towards a busy street. This street is well traveled. And if there is some type of threat um, in the parking lot, I mean, you're going to see it coming. It's going to be coming towards you. But turning your back um, to the street is a horrible idea because somebody could just park the car right there in the street, stop the car, actually not park, but stop the car and somebody could get out and execute our armed private security officer. Okay, so he's turning his back towards the street. Something different that I would do is instead of, because I noticed the whole time he's, he's watching the technician, right? Now, maybe this person is employed or part of the contract is he has to verify something. I don't know, maybe verify that money goes in, maybe money goes out and then sign off on that. 
So if there's some type of verification measure, I, I don't know. But if he's doing verification, then he's not really providing private security for this, this technician that's working on the machine, okay? He's concentrating so much on the machine that he's losing sight of his surroundings, okay? He's, lose, he's losing that situational awareness. What about in back of him? What about to the sides? Why doesn't he look as far as possible for upcoming threats, but he's concentrated on this machine, which is not too much of a good idea, okay? So that's my critique on this armed private security officer. Um, I have more good things to say about him, okay? I'm not the kind of person that's just gonna bash somebody. Um, I like the fact that he's exercising his First Amendment, I'm sorry, Second Amendment right to bear arms. Um, he's working armed private security. That's great. Um, it looked like he had the, he had the appropriate, at least a level two retention holster. Um, that's that that's great. I like the fact that he blocked off the the driveway to get to the machine. And I also like that he's probably a trusted individual, a press, a trusted employee for his company. Only the tr the most trusted employees are given the authority to carry a firearm and much so <laughs> the ability to provide private security at an ATM banking machine. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of dollars in there if, if, not, if not more to protect. So this person's a valued employee. This person's also a trusted employee. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any other requests for other videos, then let me know and I will certainly try my best to make one for you. Take care and be safe.